if I have the seven overall pick, I'm not trading that for Matthew Stafford, who's on the downside of his career. Maybe has four years left if we're lucky. And that's if you can protect him. Like Dog, but Washington some of these quarterbacks don't even get him. four years anymore. So even if yeah, you can get four I'm years out of him, Justin. if you get four years out of him, that's more than Arizona got out of Rosen. That's more than Washington got out of Haskins. That's more than looking like Miami's going to get out of Tua. Like, four years is a long time. Let's be honest. Those but, rookies aren't getting you to a Super Bowl. But maybe, exactly. exactly. So is Stafford. So is Stafford. So if somebody can... Can the Niners get somebody at 12 that can take them to a Super Bowl? Or should they get Stafford? Can the Vikings get somebody the who Niners can take them? Probably the can Niners the, should probably go all in for Deshaun Watson. But, you know... They and have then, enough high draft picks on their team. They got Kim Law. They, look at all the high draft picks they got on their team. But they don't... They, got, they don't... Found, get, I, they got Ayuk. He was the first yeah, 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 yeah. And then and, we got... Uh, we know... Daniel. But but I'm just saying, like, it's all about the market, right? So it's like you got the Niners at 12, the Vikings at 14, the Patriots at 15, like the Dolphins at 18, the Bears at 20, the Colts at 21, the Jets have a 23. Like, there's plenty of teams out there who need a quarterback even towards the back end of, of that first round. That are gonna think, hmm, do we wanna invest and wait in this young guy or do we just go with Stafford? If I'm the Colts, I could give you Stafford, but I'll give you like a two or three and a, a second round pick for next for next year. I'm okay. not giving you a first round pick for a thirty five year old Q B. It's just not smart. I don't care who you are. It's not smart. Is that's, Trevor that's Lawrence going to the Dolphins? No, Trevor's probably going to go, go And he's Jaguars. 32. Ja- I, I mean, I don't Trevor know. Lawrence? He's probably going to go Jaguars. He's going top five. He's going Jaguars. They're not stupid. They're not going to pass on him. And Wait, where like, is the Jaguars? You don't then? take Lawrence. Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Oh, they okay. got the number one overall pick. So it's like, and they got Urban Meyer as their head coach out of Florida. Like you're not gonna not take Trevor Lawrence. He's the franchise. He resets your whole franchise. Six six, athletic, can do it all with his arms. You just gotta build around him. Like that's a no brainer. Justin Fields is a franchise. He's a franchise QB. You see his talent. You saw what he did at Ohio State in only two years. And he has. And do they have no choice where they want to go? Nope. Yes. Um, it's not like I mean they do, but not since Eli Manning or somebody forced a trade like that. Like remember saying like I literally won't play for your team if you draft me. Nobody's done that in years. Um, this doesn't happen anymore. Well, I but, mean it could yeah. change now with Deshaun kinda of doing Deshaun's kind of, you know, putting his putting himself out there and and you know trying to to start the player empowerment movement but i think you know we we talked a little bit about the nba but you know the whole situation with james harden is like no we don't have to trade you like yeah it's gonna make us look bad but ultimately if we don't have shit to play for anyways like what does it matter we're just still gonna be tanking we're still gonna be sorry like we're still if anything we're gonna get a Higher draft pick, so that's a different situation because Deshaun Watson instantly upgraded that franchise the moment he got there. So did James Harden. Franchise. What are you talking about? Houston was the first team to actually bro. beat James Harden, and he wasn't. Even a yeah, what are you time. talking about, bro? James Harden. That's literally what James Harden okay. did. Harden had like what six years in Houston. Well, and, and they never came close to a title. What the fuck are you talking about? They made the like, Western Conference Finals three times. They lost to the Warriors twice. What are you talking about, bro? They lost to, to to the greatest team ever. You can't compare the Rockets and the Bro, they were a bro. Chris they were a Chris Paul quad injury away One from beating the Warriors. They were up that. three to two with a game six in Houston. 
successful franchise, the other has never been successful. Why are you comparing the Rockets, who already have two championships under their belt? Because it's the Texas same market, and it. it's it's two no, it's two of two top five players who are who don't want to be there anymore because they don't believe in the ownership or the organization. Here's the thing: the Rockets were competent as an organization for a long time. Dog, the Texans have made the playoffs more than half of the fucking league. The Texans and then got blown out in the first round. Please. They wasted J.J. Watt's career. They wasted Andre Johnson's career. They wasted Arian Foster's career. They wasted their Mario Williams. Like, all their best players, they wasted all their, their careers. The Houston Rockets have never, I mean, not, the Houston Texans have never been on the level of an organization that the Rockets are. You're arguing two different things. Success, yeah, the Rockets have success, but they've never been incompetent the way the Texans have. So, therefore, if I'm Deshaun Watson, yeah, get me up out of here. Get the team's ransom for me, but get me up out of here. San Francisco will be the best spot. Okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. How many times did the Texans make the playoffs in the last decade? Four, five? Six. Okay, how many times six. They title game? That's six and they six game? and they had a game. and they had a nine and seven year where they didn't make the playoffs. Bro, so that's seven. Bro, that's seven winning that seasons. That's seven winning seasons out of ten. You win a playoff game. Let's see. Okay, let's go it's back even before. Let's go back even further. So seven, eight, nine, ten. They basically have. 11 winning seasons or 500 seasons in their mediocre, bro. in their 20 year oh career bro that's more than mediocre that's a that's solid that's good bro you're a Raiders you fan you you're a Raiders fan good? dog okay yeah and the Raiders are terrible so <laughs> we're not okay, we're not talking about the the, the the Browns or the Raiders here that's, like that's, the Texans no. let's keep it apples let's keep it apples to apples bro the, the Buffalo Bills are a better organization than the Houston Texans. And they just made, started making the playoffs, what, three years ago? The Buffalo Bills are already a better organization right now than the Houston Texans have been since their inception. That's a fact. Just in the past five years, the Buffalo Bills are better than the Houston Texans. The Houston Texans do enough to get in the playoffs and then don't do anything. I don't know why you sit up here acting like the Houston Texans are world beaters, bro. I'm not yeah. acting like they're when world beaters. I'm like just recognizing how hard it is to good. fucking win in the league, and I'm not gonna overlook seven winning seasons in ten in a ten year span. Like seven times where they limped into the playoffs and then choked. Hey man, how much how much of that time were they going against the Brady line? or Manning? Come like. On, Come on. How many times you talk about Bill O'Brien? Who's been coming out of the AFC? <laughs> Who's been coming out of the AFC every year? Bro, how many times Tom Brady, have you talked bad about the Super Bowl O'Brien? champions? You're totally acting like the Houston Texans are legitimate. I'm upsetting you. Like, you know they're trash. But come on. The re- the, a lot of teams haven't made an AFC made title AFC game. Top. A lot of teams have never made an AFC title game. So you're telling me they're only good enough to get to make it to the second round of the playoffs and do nothing else, and I'm supposed to be okay with that? I would be okay with that. And you lose every year. We're not winning. Okay, <laughs> Eric, you're a Bears <laughs> fan. Would you do? You, do you like losing in the second round, or would you rather be four and twelve? Every year, I'd rather be in the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like. I mean, Eric, with love and respect, y'all pass on Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson. You kind of can't really talk. Like you, you, you had greatness in your hands and you gave it up for Mitch Trubisky. Yeah, that was. He's Rex Grossman with athleticism. Thanks for reminding me, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're just saying that Chicago's in the mix for him, and I'd be like, that's a weird full six, 360 if he'd ever go over there because they passed, they traded up to pass on him, and he's. There with a big contract, I, it, it, they're saying that he has a chance, but I don't really think he has a chance. That'd be a weird fit too. I mean, I'd love it. But. Like who's worse? Like who's worse? Let's just think about it. The Bears for passing on Deshaun, 
or like the Raiders for trading Mac. At least the Raiders are like trying to become good again. So your expectations are lower. But the Raiders really never had much of an excuse. The Packers have been down a couple times. And yeah, they can't get past the Packers, but it's not like you didn't have a chance to fucking draft the second coming to God and you didn't do it. And you missed it twice in the same draft. And like, they, they, they wasted so many great players' careers. It's like, if anything, I'm comparing the Bears to the Texans, but at least the Bears keep trying. I mean, they make horrible mistakes, but at least they keep trying. The Texans are just good enough to get there and they do nothing. I'd rather you just not make the playoffs if you're going to, you're only going to make the playoffs, put together a team that's good enough to get to the second round. I think round, the problem with the Texans anybody elite. I think the problem with that's the Texans is that they've peaked. They're not getting better. They're not improving, but that doesn't mean you overlook what they've been through. Like I'm not saying that, you know, Deshaun Jackson should wage the next, you know, 4 to 5 years of his prime. On that past, but I uh, like I don't blame him for wanting out. But I'm just saying, like you also can't say that the the Texans are, you know, the worst organization ever. Like, yeah, they've had a bad decision maker the past, you know, three seasons, Every which year. is the reason why they've been on the decline the past few years. But well, that's the thing that you, you we're seeing maybe the Texans just being the most recent team that we're watching just implode. Yeah, I mean that's they had some big talent on that team. That I mean, like JJ uh, uh, JJ Watt might walk away and threaten to retire this off season. They had Davian Clowney probably give up his best years over there without yeah. any any uh, thing. They had uh, DeAndre Hopkins and DeAndre Johnson from years ago. Johnson, yeah. um, they were playing together for a year or two, and those guys are the best things. And they're all disgusted with the uh, the implosion of this of this. Thing and maybe it started with the De- uh, DeAndre Johnson leaving. I think that's really when he start start seeing kind of they go on the decline. And then you have Deshaun Watson, who was their only sign of life this whole year. They had zero running game. They had no line because he took how many sacks this last year, and he still put the numbers up there. And then that's the only thing that that team had, and now wants to leave. There's nothing to build around. That is just. Full on, you are starting from scratch, and maybe you're going to be looked at maybe like as a, a former Browns team in this coming up 2021. I give the Cleveland Browns more respect than I do the uh, the Houston Texans. That's stupid. Yeah, I mean, the Cleveland Browns actually got on the dog. The Texans have it. made the playoffs a quarter amount of times as the Texans. Like and they both came. They both are fucking expansion franchises that started around the same time. So who's more set up to win a Super Bowl right now, the Texans or the Browns? The Browns. Yeah, but the Browns had to build it. They had. They had. They two, had to fucking have a whole fifteen years. Well, they built it in less time. I don't care. They built it in less time. What are you talking about? They built it. That they built it in worse. nineteen years. No, no, no. I'm starting from that 0 16 season because that was, that's a lot of years of losing. Yeah, and 17 then, years of not making the season. fucking playoffs. What are you talking about? And he had to go after coach after coach. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> how many quarterbacks did yeah, they go through Jimmy in Cleveland? Haslam, okay, start from, start from when Jimmy has them on the team because they've had a couple different owners of the team. So you can't start all the way that far back. Start from when. Was, the wasn't their owner the a Steelers fan team. for a while? <laughs> yeah, I think he was. For about five years. Let's say he's on the team for what, maybe four or five years? Sure. And they've already like dethroned the Steelers. Like if you look at that roster and they have OBJ who was hurt, like bro, all that team has to do is just get better and add a couple pieces. And they're right there with everybody else. They almost beat the Chiefs down there. I mean they so, are let's not sit up here and act like Texas, no, we are going to sit up here and act like that it's AFC Championship or bust every year, or else your franchise ain't doing well, shit. If you ain't making the AFC title game, you ain't making shit. And if you're the, in the NBA and you're still making the the, the conference finals, you still ain't shit, according to Kenny Berry. Yeah, 